So as if the Texas lawsuit in the Supreme Court wasn't absurd enough, it just got a lot weirder. Let's talk about not the United States of America, but the pretend states of America. Hang with me on this one, folks, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So as we await the Supreme Court's rejection of the lawsuit filed by the Texas State Attorney General, a lawsuit that in substance is urging the Supreme Court to decide that the votes cast by the citizens of Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Georgia don't count, we got another really interesting development. Apparently, recognizing the strong legal arguments being made by the Republicans and by the Texas Attorney General, the fictitious states of New California and New Nevada just filed an amicus brief of their own. Here's how the Daily Beast reported that out today. An attorney purporting to represent New Nevada and New California filed a typo-laden Supreme Court brief in support of the GOP effort to overturn the election outcomes in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Georgia. And then the Daily Beast reporting added for good measure, quote, we really can't make this up, close quote. So it looks like the pretend states of America are joining with the Republicans in solidarity, recognizing the strength of a sound legal argument when they see one. And uh, wait, wait. Okay, so it looks like we've got some breaking developments. There are some new briefs about to be filed with the Supreme Court, and those briefs are coming from Gotham City, uh, Gilligan's Island, and the sovereign state of Petticoat Junction. Okay, Trevor Noah has nothing to worry about for me. But, I mean, sometimes you have to laugh. That is how absurd this attempt to overthrow the incoming duly elected Biden administration has become. And if you want to see this pleading, this Supreme Court amicus brief filed by the pretend states of New California and New Nevada, there it is in the Supreme Court of the United States, brief of state of New California and New Nevada state as amici curiae in support of plaintiff's motion. And it's filed by a guy named Robert E. Thomas III, attorney for the fictitious states of New California and New Nevada. Now, I don't recommend that you read these eight pages because it's a bunch of nonsense. But let me say this. This goat rodeo that we are in the middle of right now, it will fail. And Joe Biden will be sworn in on January 20th as the 46th president of the United States. And then I contend we have some real soul searching to do as a country. When one political party in loyalty or in fealty to a criminal president is willing to sell out the people of the United States, you know, we need to figure out how we have fallen as a nation so far so fast. It feels like in recent weeks, we've kind of morphed into three political parties, the Republicans, the Democrats, and the seditionists. And when did sedition and treason become okay? We need to figure this out. And we will. Because justice 
matters. And as always, folks, I appreciate you tuning into these YouTube videos. If you would like to more formally support our all-volunteer efforts here, please feel free to go to patreon.com, sign up to become a patron, and if you do, I will send you uh, some Team Justice stickers with a handwritten personal note of thanks. So as always, folks, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.